Hello and welcome back to Planet Crafter. I'm your host Drumforks and today we will be hopefully focusing on the food production and the pressure production because from what I can tell the furthest along in terms of upgrades we have come with the terraformation and the smallest part we have gone with oh and the launcher platform is the new one well <clears throat> um we could sped up the terraformation process by sending rockets into space i don't have that level of resources i really need <clears throat> the nuclear reactor or extractor and all that jazz to be able to power this whole operations Heat is being distributed nicely. I mean, I will need more heat, but I need first more power. And we are almost there at the level where the clouds are starting to form, as you can tell. Soon enough, we will have all the clouds that we need. But first, I will need a bit more. Hold on. Stuff is getting produced and dolomite I don't need here. Dolomite I would need what is being produced. This one is being broken down into... Ah, this is also getting into dolomite. Okay, good to know. Iridium, dolomite, whatever. Okay, dolomite I might take and I might put you guys back inside because I want you to bro get broken down to something else, which is cobalt. And I need to build at least two more tier two solar panels. And that should hopefully give me power enough to create one tier three drill. The question is whether or not I will have aluminium for it. So I actually might be going on a trip sooner rather than later. And I might need to be going on a trip to uh, get a lot of bauxite because bauxite might be just the ticket that we need. Come on, are you ready? What's your status? 72% and you are 57%. Looks like I will be using that space food after all. All right, tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and I think I know that over there, behind the pillars, look at this. The planet has been seemed to be melting already. So that's definitely a good thing. Oh wait, I don't need to have iridium with me. I will be creating those later, but I'm gonna be putting iridium all there. I do need, however, that, I do need that, and I do need that. Okay, I think that I have enough to build my survival kit. However, there are plenty of boxes and places to explore. And I'm thinking I am probably just want to go and grab myself a bit of bauxite because bauxite is currently a scarce resource for me that and the food obviously but uh, i hope i won't die a horrible death if i just go out there to collect a little bit of oxide bauxite bauxite or bauxite yeah you know this is also the episode where i'm hoping to introduce the tier 4 oxygen tank if i will be able to Tier 4 oxygen tank could actually significantly up our O2 dosage and decrease our need to pick up anything else. Oh, wait. Speaking of that, bauxite. Yes, please. Two. Because those will be producing aluminium and currently we are really starved for aluminium because bauxite we don't need, but aluminium we do and quite a lot of aluminium we need so i will be picking a good healthy supply of bauxite how much do we need we have a pretty penny but tell you what you know the bird drill by now i'm creating this and then i'm creating the door and i'm hoping that i didn't forget anything and then i go taking a very nice breather yep all right i can leave it here while i'm collecting bauxite up this one this one oh this will be a, a, a aluminium treasure trove because i'm really i'm really starved for aluminium yeah this will be much much easier to you know produce things because i mean we, you're kind of get tear gated 
food level low. Yeah, I'm aware of it. And I'm gonna get us, okay, three more of bauxite and then I'm gone. One. Maybe that's enough. You don't need to be greedy. Well, if you can, why not? All right, <clears throat> so this is our bauxite collection shack. So we're gonna go back and we're gonna go convert all of this delicious bauxite back to aluminium. And then we're gonna use aluminium for some serious shit tier three crafting because we really, really need this. All right. Time to do some fun. And I think we're already getting the clouds to form. So the next thing is would be to get the rain because when the rain starts to fall, the lake starts to form. So the, the you know, the and also the ice caves melt and we're kind of hoping to be able to find a lot of useful stuff over there as well. So the next stage of this terraforming will be definitely interesting. Blue skies and clouds. Yeah, 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 yeah. All that jazz. Now, time to crank up our aluminium production. So let's go first into the tier two producer. So, chunk it in, son. Okay, maybe I take a couple. Just for the sake of parallel processing. Here you go. So how are we doing here? Okay, we have some <clears throat> super alloys. What about here? We have more super alloys. So we're gonna be collecting our bountiful harvest. Thank you very much. Uh, iron, I leave and I take super alloys. Now, <clears throat> I'm hoping that I will be able to produce stuff that I need super alloys for. For example, tier four backpack. That's something that I really needed. Okay, and I need three super alloys for tier three oxygen do i have tier two oxygen tank come on you've been kidding me right tier three yeah i need aluminium for tier three oxygen tank i've been living this entire time on tier two oxygen tank oh that's scary 75 percent what are you you're 90 percent will you be in time for my snack i hope so uh come on tell me that there is one aluminium there we go. All right. So now let's go and produce. Tier 3 oxygen tank. That's 280. Nice. And let's see if we can then tier 4. Three super alloys. To produce super alloys, I need this bad boy. And I should probably go and get some more, you know, to be perfectly honest with you. So, for that I need to get on the other side, towards the icy caves of whatever the hell that name is over there. Alright, so let's go towards the icy caves. Uh, my food is getting low again. And I'm worried, but I do have... Water bottle and a food core. So yeah. Oh, hold on. One thing that I've forgotten. I'm gonna grab myself. Hold on. Uh, I'm first gonna go here inside. I'm I'm gonna grab some air. Second, I'm gonna process myself another food, and I'm gonna leave all of the rare ores that I can here. So, because I don't need to take them. Regular ores, uh, empty as much as I can. Hydration level low. I am perfectly aware. Food level critical. Is the food done? 82%? 100. Thank you. Eggplant. Okay. Eat it. Good. At least that will be able to sustain me for a while. <clears throat> I'm not no longer going to be trying and produce food and eat food like willy-nilly. I'm gonna be really careful with what I do. So, having said that, I can plant this bad boy so it starts, you know, getting converted. And the things here are getting converted, which is nice. Good. <clears throat> While that's being done, we're gonna go into the icy cave where we once built a small shelter house. And I believe that small shelter house is still there because I can see it. 
so we're definitely gonna go there and we're gonna be picking up a lot of these super crystals and we're gonna be taking more uraninite because i expect the moment i need to build the nuclear you know generator that moment i'm gonna have to produce a lot of uranium rods and uranium rods will probably gonna need be needed for everything else so while I'm here, I might be picking up some ice, if I can see some. And I think there's something glisten glistening over there. So, okay, I'm gonna drink my water. Thank you. <clears throat> Let's go inside. Replenish our O2. And then we're gonna go deep inside the cave and pick up all the wonderful things that we can. And is this starting to melt? Maybe. It'll be interesting to see how all of these caves look after the ice caves have melted because I think it'll be actually quite kind of nice. Okay, I'm definitely picking up some ice because we need water bottles for whatever we are producing. So I think a good chunk of ice. Okay, magnesium? No, I'm not going to take magnesium. I am taking uranium and uraninite for sure. So, Uraninite and Uranium, you guys are coming with me. What is this? Ice. Well, yeah, I don't see why not. And there's plenty more where that came from. Good. Uranium, Uraninite. Now, let's see. Is there anything of note here? Oh, Uranium Rod. Oxide. Squash seeds, food level low, okay, again, warning, good, space food, uraninite, uranium, that's useful, okay, what else, is that empty, no, not yet, what about you, sunshine, same thing, well, you know what, I'm actually gonna place, because, here, uranium rod is very important for us. And the food, we're gonna consume one, we're gonna take another one, and then we are good for now. Bauxite, iridium. Iridium might be handy that we take some more, but we're full. Good. <clears throat> uh oh, oxygen is low. I turned my eye there for a second, and all of a sudden we are in trouble. I mean, technically we won't be in trouble because we are still close by. Hopefully. I really hope I'll make it. Oxygen level critical. Come on. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. And I didn't die. Good. Well, that certainly made up my day. Okay, now... I, there is some food over there and that's good to remember. So we're gonna go now to my base and while I'm at the base I'm gonna use and I'm gonna create the first nuclear reactor because that one will be able to help us power a lot more. Now look at that there is some smoke rising up from the Mount Doom which is far on the horizon. However my plan is with all of those drills. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Yeah, I mean, the planet has, de planet has definitely defrosted. That's for sure. Terraformation index is rising. And, yeah, now we are 10% towards the rain, which is beautiful. All right, the mushroom is grown. And uh, that means I'm going to pick it up. Thank you very much. But I think I need to create a ura uranium rod. I think I can create... Oh, I'm two uranium short from a uranium rod. That means I'm going to go and I'm going to deposit the two of you here. I'm going to decode a chip that I have found. Tier 2 torch. Huh. What's the tier 2 torch? Um... Uh, I need aluminium, magnesium, and sulfur. Better lighting. Sure. Aluminium, magnesium, and sulfur. I have one sulfur. Aluminium. And I need one more magnesium. There we go. 
Let's craft immediately a tier 2 torch because I can definitely use a better lighting. Oh yeah, much better. Perfect. How big are you, sunshine? 87% and you are 100%. Okay, that means we pick up the mushroom, we eat the mushroom and this eggplant, I'm thinking we're gonna be going for the nuclear... We need three super alloys. Three super alloys, one uranium rod and two water. We're definitely gonna be producing more water. I mean, that's a given. Okay, how much do we have super alloys? I have one only? No, two. I need one more. Okay. Let's see. We place a bunch more of this uraninite here. And we're gonna be placing more uraninites and some bauxite. Hopefully something turns up here. Right, let's see. Do we have any colorful thingies? No, we don't yet. Okay, that's a downer. I need a colorful thingy, please. And a lot of bauxite. Tell you what, we're gonna be picking all of the bauxite away. Because I couldn't give you, Sunshine, a bunch of bauxite to make, while you, I need to be processing uraninite now. Alright, fair enough. All right, so we have plenty now of uh, everything. Come on, now, can I craft okay, rare ores? I'm gonna place a lot of bauxite here and I'm gonna take two more uranium because I would like to, how many are uranium rods? I need one uranium rod and one more super alloy. Well, then I guess there is a point for me to dump all of these here. I need one more rare container and then seed wise I would really like to create one more seed because eggplant space squash and might be very helpful now did we get the colorful one no we didn't okay I pick up all of the magnesium all of the iron and all of the everything we clean this out no colorful guys yet okay fair enough now regular ores all of the magnesium all of the iron and aluminium is gonna go well <laughs> go figure aluminium is going under the regular now okay so what do we need or i need one more super alloy and one cobalt one more super alloy and one cobalt Come on. There we go. Okay, that's one is gonna go straight for the nuclear reactor. I need you I need one uranium rod. I can live without the I need uranium rod. Good. Now in order to make everything work better, what better way is than to put this bad boy straight on the top now our power production is excessive probably we have 89 available which means we can finally start planning to craft the tier 3 drill so two iron two titanium two iron two titanium two iron two titanium or that's four iron i need four four titanium and then i'll need is it two aluminium or yeah two aluminium okay so i need four aluminium so two 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 i need four titanium do i have somewhere four titanium i don't i need four titanium that would be much nicer okay um one two three four one two three four 
and just now titanium. I have to find out somewhere titanium. Or titanium to be precise. And I'm gonna go again towards those caves, because towards those caves I think I saw a lot of things. Hydration level low, I have a water bottle, hydration level fixed. Now, titanium, where is it? I need four of them. That's dolomite, dolomite, a lot of dolomite here. Could use more titanium though. Titanium, one. I need three more. Two. Three. And that will create two more of these pressure cookers. So pressure cookers should, in theory, increase the output of the pressure significantly because it's two tier threes. So I'm really hoping that they will significantly accelerate the terraforming process and unlocking of the technologies that we really have needed for a long time. So let's see. Come on. Tier three drill. One. Oh yeah, look at that! Terraformation index is shooting through the roof. And how is our power consumption? We're still 72 available, ain't that grand. Okay, but at least these will start to unlock faster, which is great. I could create another nuclear reactor and then we can be safe and don't care about the power problems for a considerable time. Okay, and then we can focus on everything else. So, nuclear reactor part two, I need three more super alloys. Do I have any more super alloys? I have one, I have two, and I have three. T just enough for another nuclear reactor. I'll take the uranium rod and then we will be golden. Oh yeah. Until now, we didn't know what, how to produce energy. Now we don't know what to do with it. We have so much of the energy. Perfect. That's just beautiful. So the next step would be to produce the grass spreader. Water, uh, okay, and I don't, don't think it's too difficult either. So, but I think we're gonna go and we're gonna do it in the next episode. I've been your host Groundforks for now and thank you very much for watching. I will be seeing you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Groundforks out.